Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. And if you guys recall from the last episode, we absolutely decimated the Imperial Japanese Navy right in this vicinity with our B-17s. And now we have the Gato that is going to continue its little course in the area, hoping that one of two things are going to happen. One, either the task force, now that they've lost both of their heavy cruisers, is going to try and push back towards uh, maybe the Shoreland Islands, even maybe back to Japan mainland itself to go and get more cover as it tries to push towards Guadalcanal. Or option number two they have is they are going to continue to push towards Guadalcanal, in which case the Greenling will now be in its course to secure the area while we await the arrival of Task Force 4, which I have coming. Let's go ahead and set a course inland more of Guadalcanal. Hopefully they can try and maybe cut them off and then we can sink the whole entire convoy, which would be epic. So what we're gonna do right now to start things off is get more, if we have the ability to. What is it, 11.59? We sure do. We have more than enough. Get more scout planes out this way to try and locate the convoy, if at all possible. And if we do, keep an eye on it while we await the arrival of Task Force 4. We still have 26 command points, and Task Force 4 here, the uh, actual drop-off convoy, if you will, uh, they are about halfway through their journey towards Rennell Island. We did have an encounter with a submarine while they were coming this way, but Old Blue here, able to actually absolutely decimate them. Actually, let's go ahead and swap positions with you two right now, if we can. And here they are. Perfect. Now we know they are actually pushing away, and I'm assuming the Kingfisher has to return because it has no more. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Let's go ahead and change the course then of our Gato and try and head these guys off if possible. Where are you coming through? Yeah, they're coming right for it. And here we go, Gato in position to head off these ships. Let's go ahead and go into tactical view if we can and see just what we are dealing with, if anything. And here we go. Beautiful setup. We very well might just try and go after two, if possible, convoy or cargo ships, excuse me and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead and target number three if we can. Let's go ahead and identify Kamigawa Maru and along with number five as well, another Kamigawa Maru. So we're gonna wanna have to send torpedoes at number five first and then number three. Hopefully that number five gets stricken first. We have 14 torpedoes total, which works out beautifully. And we have an 89% or 88% chance as it stands right now. We're gonna send three each then. So let's go ahead and fire on this first Maru at 92%. Perfect. Those are away. Let's go ahead and stop there. Target number three now. Try and get that up. We'll do the same thing. And here we go. This is at a 92% as well, 95%. Let's go ahead and Fire at 95, 96 fire, perfect. And I don't see any reason why we need to stick around. Let's go ahead and start turning the tail and getting the hell out of here, shall we? And as it stands right now, I gotta say, this is going to be pretty close. It looks like we're gonna get some hits here. We need to hope for some serious detonations, though, at least two to be able to knock out this cargo ship. Let's find out. There we go. First one was a dud, which was worrisome, but we did get two detonations in the end. And there we go. Two detonations and one dud on the second cargo ship. A successful strike on both of these. Fantastic evasive maneuvers have begun on these guys. Let's see if they can actually get away. Meanwhile, we're definitely going to uh, start getting hunted down by the IJN destroyers, which brings my attention to the fact that we need to Order the crew to be silent and halt any reloading and repairs to ensure that we can get out of here. Let's go ahead and get a damage report on those cargo ships. 
heavy and heavy on both. It wasn't enough to get him to critical and critical, which is a crying shame, but we can stick around and see if that uh, flooding gets any worse while we try to get out of here. We have gone silent again, so we should be looking pretty good. And with nine seconds left before we can leave, let's go ahead and take one last report. Still heavy and heavy with really no change. What a crying shame. I really thought two torpedoes was gonna be enough to knock out both of these guys. Unfortunately, I guess it just wasn't. So we're gonna go ahead and leave the combat zone. Heavy and heavy, they have to head back though, unless they wanna risk trying to uh, get them back into Guadalcanal area, but I don't think they will. What we can do is we can try and increase time speed a little bit, try and relocate them with these Kingfishers, and hopefully we're still within a good range to be able to take them out. There they are, yes. And here we are, and I gotta say, it looks like we are in a beautiful position as we have them coming straight across our line of sight. We can come in at an angle, and I think we are going to. Let's go ahead and increase to nine knots and do a little time compression. I am going to try and get a little closer. I think we stand a very, very good chance of knocking these two supply ships out as it stands. If we can get a little bit closer within, I don't know, I dare say five squares, we can get right about here. I'm going to send the torpedoes and get these guys start, start to get them targeted. And they are definitely not doing good, as you can see. I mean, he's going the same speed as the convoy. However, this Maru is definitely slowing down significantly. And this might be the target we go after. Even if we only get one, that's one less supply ship. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of time compression. Get a little bit closer. And when we are ready to attack, I will be back and get ready for this action. All right, we are in position about five squares out and I have our first Kamigawa Maru ready to rock. Actually what we need to do is we need to do it backwards. We need to target this Maru first, get the torpedo started its way. We will send two, hoping for at least, if we can get one detonation, I think that is going to be a very good, because we're still at heavy and heavy for both. I think one more torpedo each is enough to send them down to the bottom. 85, I like it. I think we might just send it right at 85. Fire. Go ahead and stop targeting that one. Let's go ahead and pick up number four here, please. Get another two ready to rock. Get those solutions up. And then uh, start this firework show. 87, this one's even better. 89 fire. That's good enough for me. Go ahead and change course, Gato. Increase speed to 7 knots. Go ahead and go silent as well, as we don't need to be lingering around here. Torpedo's away. Now we just gotta wait and hope that luck is on our side for this one. And here we go. It is the moment of truth to see if we're actually going to land some hits with these torpedoes. It is going to be very close. But I think we might just luck out here. Yes, come on. Give us some hits. One, two. That is it for that one. How are we looking on the next one? One, two. Hell Yes, that is a success in my books, ladies and gentlemen. Two more hits. Not only two successful hits, two successful detonations on each of these Marus, but both of them are sinking. That is going to cripple the Imperial Japanese Navy in some way, shape, or form, definitely. They have two more cargo ships that are hightailing it out of here, and I do believe they have at least two destroyers that are going to be coming after us, but 
they stand little to no chance in finding us as we are just way too far away. Death and destruction all around. Can we actually retreat right now? We can. Let's go ahead and leave and confirm. A total of 12,880 tons sunk, going to the bottom of the ocean. Another two command points under our belt. We are really taking it to the Japanese Navy right now, and I gotta say, doing very well. If we can just get Task Force 4 back over here, start dishing out some serious damage against the uh, IJN and their warships, I dare say we might be able to cripple them earlier than we thought we were going to be able to. Do a little bit of time compression here, get these Kingfishers back, and our Gato, let's go ahead and continue you on your usual course. Patrolling the area, going back and forth, and hopefully pick them up again. We do have the Greenling doing its thing, and Task Force 4 is now pushing through, finally. And here we go, 0249 hours in the morning, and Task Force 4 has successfully managed to reach Rennell Island. Let's go ahead and offload supplies, offload our troops, and that is going to be Rennell Island officially under our control now, which is absolutely perfect. That feels pretty good. Now what I need to figure out is, do we need to bump up our number of troops on the Santa Cruz Islands? I dare say we do, because we usually have more than one major task force patrolling the area, and uh, that usually is what saves us. But because we started with lower command points due to the difficulty level, now we don't have one to actually and I cruise around the Santa Cruz Islands and keep a watch on them. What we will do, though, is start our task force back towards New Hebrides. And then we'll kind of think of a plan here. We do have 28 command points to play with. We could get another submarine and start it up that way. However, I just, uh, I'm not liking that too much. I'd rather save it to be able to get another couple heavy cruisers, if possible. Oh boy, and here we go. 2041 hours on August 11th, our Greenling has come across. It has the aircraft carrier logo. However, the chances of this being an aircraft carrier are extremely low, I imagine. But it is 10 ships moving very, or medium. It's actually medium. It's, this very well might be an aircraft carrier. Let's go ahead and begin. We do have our Task Force 4 on a course to intercept this. However, we... We need to be very careful. We're going to find out. Let's go in with the Greenling and actually see what we're dealing with. It's going to be pitch black, which is going to make it very hard for us to see. And there they are. You can barely see them off the horizon here. Let's go ahead and click on them. Holy... Yes, this is a major convoy. Wow. Multiple heavy cruisers and multiple supply ships. This is going to be, we need to actually, what do we got? Five torpedoes left right now before we have to send this Greenling back. We have to, absolutely have to knock out at least this to be able to cripple. They'll have one heavy cruiser left, but that's it. And then they will be very out of luck once we encounter them, hopefully, with our task force. Let's go ahead and target number one, shall we, and get this thing identified. We're going to wait for this solution to increase. We're currently at 20%, and hopefully we're going to have another Megami-class heavy cruiser under our belt here soon. Stand by. Boy, i got to be honest with you. They are nearly directly in front of us, and our solution is not that great at all. I mean, we're looking at a 42% solution rate right now as it stands. I think I'm going to still take the shot and risk this only because if we are able to strike this Megami, even though our solution is so low, it's going to really help our task force out in dealing with these guys. Even if we can get at least one strike on it and miss the other four torpedoes, that's still damage done to this thing that's going to help us sink it when we encounter it with the task force. The best we are getting as it stands right now is 44%. And you know what? 45%. There we go. That's a little better. Fire. Go ahead and try and get this Greenling out of here. If we can save it, that is most important. Let's go ahead and dive down to 80 feet. We'll take 90. Increase to 5 knots. Go silent. 
and let's hope that 45% is enough. Boy, this is going to be pretty close. It looks like he's going to get in range here. However, the question is, is he going to be too fast before they actually strike? I don't know. These are looking... These are looking pretty promising. Dud. One. Two. Dud. Three strikes out of the five. You know what? I will take that. I will take that. That should put it at at least... At least heavy damage. That is not looking too good for this heavy cruiser, and they are on evasive maneuvers right away. No doubt the cruisers or destroyers are peeling off. Yes, they are. And after a prolonged period, we are still looking at heavy and heavy, even though a fire has broken out. I don't think we'd be able to actually check out the whole damage control on it. But we have the ability to retreat here and get our greenling out, so let's go ahead and take that opportunity. This thing has done more than its fair share of work. So, Greenling, please, on a course back to New Hebrides, let's go ahead and get you rearmed and uh, get you back in the action. Meanwhile, hopefully Task Force 4 here is going to be able to encounter these guys and dish out some serious damage. And here they are. The Gato actually caught right up to them. Are we going to be able to go fast enough? These guys are still medium speed, whereas I think we might be fast. So hopefully we can actually catch up to them. Let's go ahead and begin with the Gato. My goodness. We are lucking out with these uh, destroyers, let me tell you. I love it. All right, they are nearing a good zone for us. And we are looking at currently 33%, which is not that great. I'd still like to at least see in the 40s if we're going to try and take this shot. And it just doesn't appear as though we're going to get that lucky. 37 is what we're looking at. We might have to take the shot at 37%. 37 fire. And here come the torpedoes right now. My goodness, are we actually going to hit this? What luck was on our side to be able to knock this at uh, 30%. Good. Strike. There we go. Two duds, two detonations. I think that is all we're going to need to be able to sink this Mogami. Let's go ahead and get a quick report here. We're looking at heavy and critical now. As I have said, these uh, Japanese heavy cruisers, Japanese ships in general. The construction, absolutely impeccable. But it was enough. Mogami officially sinking. There we go. And there is our confirmation for the Mogami, another 13,000 tons under the belt. We are taking it to the IJN. Thank goodness. Great bloody work, Gato. Now, unfortunately, we also have to send you back to New Hebrides in hopes that we can get you guys back here soon. Task Force 4, we are stretching them a little bit, but I would really like to see if we can try and catch up to this task force now. And there we go. We actually lucked out. 1.30 in the morning, Task Force 4 has encountered them. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a firefight. Two of our heavy cruisers, along with two light cruisers and a destroyer. Against there, I believe only one heavy cruiser now. And two destroyers versus the cargo ships. Let's go ahead and begin and get this started. Increase that speed, gentlemen. Get those shots off if you can. There we go. And there we go. We have a an explosion on the Furutaka here. It looks like our boys are actually starting to get this thing dialed in, which is beautiful. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the Brooklyn and see what his solution is on this. We got a 52% solution on the Furtaka. That's pretty good. 
Oh, and there we go. Nice big explosion on the cargo ships as they try and turn tail and run. Won't do them any good, though. We're getting a little bit of uh, scatter damage as everyone still continues to try and go after this Ritaka. So far, no damage or flooding on our end. Hopefully, that remains. But we will find out. Only time will tell. As they are still pestering the cargo ships. And they are all targeting the Furutaka. It's just that those cargo ships are running right towards them. And we have the spotlights that are starting to peer out now, which is even better. We're going to get better solutions with this. You guys better not run into each other. We don't have time for that. Oh, and as it stands, the Bagley actually has been caught. Let's go ahead and get him out of here. You've done your job, sir. And we are in close quarters combat now with Zakazuki and the Brooklyn. Full broadside now going towards the Zakazuki. And there we go. That is exactly what you like to see. Make sure we still have narrow. We do more explosions on the Akatsuki. No doubt. Heavy damage now. Yes, heavy and moderate. And there we go. Not too long now before this is done. And this guy is getting absolutely tumbled. Report critical and critical. And we have achieved victory over that. Let's go ahead and retarget number five here if we can. And attack. There we go, Furutaka officially sinking. Full broadside over here. Akatsuki at critical and critical as well. There we go. And massive explosions. Perfect, that should be the end of that. And there we go, Akatsuki officially sinking. Let's go ahead and give the order to cease fire altogether and we are going to go and finally catch up to these cargo ships and finish this task force off completely. And here we go, we have caught up to these cargo ships. We are going to go ahead and get our group to go full broadside alongside of them if we can. And we are going to give the order to attack. And here we go, secondaries are away. And it won't be long. We will make very quick work of this group, no doubt massive explosions and <laughs> it is just disgusting and the second cargo ship getting absolutely pummeled as we go full broadside again with our task force multiple explosions it's uh ladies and gentlemen we have done it we have been able to knock out this entire convoy, which is a huge blow to them as well. Let's go ahead and give the next order for the final cargo ship. And there we go. The one final explosion that should seal the deal here. Critical and critical. And there we go. Officially sinking. Everybody, good job. Go ahead and cease fire. Completely destroyed. Go ahead and retreat, leave, confirm. And that is a total of 32,544 tons going down to the bottom of the ocean. God, that feels good. That feels brilliant. Total command points of eight. That puts us up to 39. That'll be enough for us to get actually a pretty good solid task force to start heading up and helping these guys out. Task Force 4, you have done your work. Go ahead and get right back down into more friendly waters and not have to worry about being attacked as it stands. Currently 1.30 in the morning. And ugh, we have achieved a lot. We've been able to get Rennell Island under our control, and now we are going to start the major task of getting more supplies and troops to Rennell Island. I think I'm gonna get another 1,250 over to Santa Cruz as well, just to secure that, as we won't be paying too much attention to it, but we also don't want the Imperial Japanese Navy coming over with their cargo ships and dropping off troops. So. I think that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode as much as I have. I thought it was pretty action-packed, if I may say so myself. 
Um, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really helps me out, it helps the channel out, and helps get this video out to many more to see. And if you are new to the channel and you like this episode and you want to see more on this series coming out and other video games coming out very soon, please consider subscribing. Try and get a video out once a week at a minimum, but trying to up that to two to three. But in the meantime, I'm going to get back at it, try and get the next episode knocked out for this series. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?